Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm on some Ghost of Tsushima Legends mode, and I'm going to be showing you a pretty crazy exploit that you can do to get infinite loot. You can get legendaries, you can get purples. One of the most important purples to get, in my opinion, is actually some of these class charms. I had a really hard time getting the hunter charm until I actually started doing this exploit, and I got it right away. So if you do need class charms, this is a great way of doing that. Or if you're looking for certain legendaries that you just can't get, try doing this and hopefully you can actually get the legendary. I'm actually looking for the legendary longbow for the hunter because that thing sounds and looks awesome. I just can't get it. I'm just really unlucky, I guess. But I will say they will probably fix this. This will be patched in the future. This seems to be like a minor oversight on their part. So if you are watching this in the future, just know that they might have already fixed it just because it seems like it will be a very simple fix for them. But now, let's talk about how you do this, because this is really easy to do. The first thing is, you have to beat all the story missions. It doesn't matter what difficulty you beat them on, but that will unlock the Nightmare Story Mission. Now, to do the Nightmare Story Mission, you have to have a minimum gear score of 90. So once you have gotten that, you can do this. And all you actually have to do is just go onto the mission. You can do this with a friend if you want, but it's better just to do it by yourself. So turn matchmaking off. That way you're not going to match with anyone else and then launch the mission. And once you're in the mission, it's really quick and easy. All you got to do is die. That's it. And the best way to do that is to just turn around and run out of the map. Once you cross that little fog, there's going to be like a countdown. And once it hits zero, you will die. And then you're going to have an end screen. And at the end screen, you can actually hold square to retry the mission. And it's really quick. So you just keep doing this over and over and over again. Now, if you are doing this with a friend, both of you would have to hold square at that end screen. But it seems like every time you get to that end screen, I don't want to say that you always get a piece of loot. But it feels like you might, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But you will get loot pretty much from doing this. Every time you die, you're getting loot. And you might be getting blues, you could be getting purples, and I've gotten several legendaries from doing this. And normally what I would say, because you can't check your loot as you're doing this, obviously, so you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to like overstock yourself. I've never actually gotten to that point to tell you like what happens when you have too much loot but I don't want to find out. So normally I do this about 10 times and then I will just go ahead and go back to the lobby. I'll check all my loot and I will just do it again. Now, obviously this is somewhat boring. You're not really doing anything besides just turn around and running out the map. So that's kind of a problem, I guess, but it's a really quick and easy way to just get loot. But yeah, definitely try to take advantage of this if you can right now because they definitely will probably fix this just because this seems to be like a very slight oversight on their part because it just seems like when you're doing this nightmare mission anytime you fail you're getting loot and that's okay once you have done certain objectives and stuff once you are actually playing the mission that's fine but when you just start up the mission and then you just die right away and you get loot that seems to be a little bit busted and that's how it's working right now. So I'm sure they're going to fix it in the future. But if you can take advantage of it right now, go ahead and take advantage of it because this is awesome. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead. I'm going to do this probably like four more times. I'm not even sure. But I'm going to do it a couple more times. And then I'm going to back out. And I'm going to show you all the loot that I get. And you will be surprised because not all the time you're going to get a legendary after 10 runs. But... A lot of times you will. That's something that I notice a lot. Alrighty, well I'm back in the lobby now and I haven't checked my loot yet. But I do want to say that one thing I have noticed is that at the end screen, you never really see loot. It's something that you won't see. You won't see the loot there like you normally do, but you will be getting the loot. So let's actually go ahead and take a look now. Now out of my katanas, I've got nothing new. And you can tell, by the way, oh my god, I got the longbow! I got the longbow! You can tell because of the red. You see the little red on the square there? Well, that means it's brand new. But I did get the longbow. That is epic. Oh man, I'm so happy. 
this is something that I wanted so much just because this thing is a beast because it ricochets headshots will ricochet to nearby enemies and by the way this works with the ultimate as well and it looks like i'm actually maxed out when it comes to my bows but yeah you can see that i've gotten a lot of new stuff i gotten some charms i got a purple there let's see did i get any other legendaries no i did not but i did finally get the longbow and this is what i was trying to get because this thing is a beast and Man, I'm happy about that. Alrighty, but like I said, this is something that you definitely should take advantage of right now, if possible, because they will probably fix this in the future, and this is a really quick and easy way of getting loot. It's kind of boring, but it's totally worth it, and it's really fast, it's really easy, and man, I am just super happy that I actually got that longbow. Alrighty guys, so well that's going to pretty much do it for the video. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and that it has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to click the bell if you haven't. That way you can stay notified for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.